Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I want to show you everything you should know about lines in ARCHICAD. No matter how insignificant it may seem, lines are very important. Even though this is a BIM software, sometimes we need to back up our BIM elements with documentation tools such as lines, circles, polylines and splines. But in order to achieve it, you need to fully understand the lines how it works, how you can edit them. So today's topic is this. Come with me and see together everything you should know about lines in ARCHICAD. Alright, let's start. Under the document part of the window, we can use our line. If we click it, on the top of the window, we have this geometry methods. With this simple line, we can only create a simple line. But if we click the second chain one, if you click second, it won't be finished. It will ask you to place a second point to continue with the line tool. If we want to make a rectangle shape, we can make it with a simple tool. And also we have this rectangle one. We will determine an angle and we can enlarge the lens and here we have our rotated rectangle. As you can see here, all of the lines are gray, which is 62 pen color. You can change it from here. If you click it, you can choose any color from here. And also pen thickness will be changed according to those colors. For instance, you can see this 0.35. But it's a hairline pen thickness. We cannot see the actual thickness of the pen. In order to see it, we will go to view. On screen view options, we will select this true line weight. And now we can see true line weight of our pen. And for instance, we can select a very thin pen. Like so. If you want to create a very bold line, for instance 1.00, but we don't have here, we need to create it from the options menu, element attributes, and we will select pens and color. And we are going to create a new one. For instance, we have a blank spot here. This is pen 00. Let's make this one and change the color to red, I don't know, let's click OK. And now from here, we will see our newly created pen color. Let's click it. And now we have a very bold line. We can see it from here too. For instance, if you want to create an arrow, you can sketch it like this or instead of that you can just use those arrowheads for instance this one and you can change the pen color of the arrowhead you can change it with your newly created pen and increase the size just like that and also you can change the arrowhead attributes. We have lots of options here. And if you want to create another point, you can choose this spot. By the way, if you want to change the shape of the created line, you can always select your line and if you click once more on the line you will see a menu and with this menu you can change this into a new node curve edge and using tangent for instance you can turn this into a curve or you can add another point onto the arc and 
you can offset of course change offset land you can just edit the tangent where can we use this tangent for instance we can make tangent with this line and this edge and it will continue with a very smooth angle like this we won't see any sharp corner here also i'm going to show you a very important thing which is i have learned yet and i want to share with you for instance if you have a room with four wall and if you want to create a zone inside this you will select the zone tool hit the space bar and place here or you can only click the inside of the room it will automatically select the walls you don't have to hit the space bar on your keyboard because we are using this method inner edge and we have our zone but if you want to separate this zone let's delete this and place a line here and i want to place a zone here and another zone here for instance this is going to be a living room and this is going to be an open kitchen for example let's make it let's go to the zone tool click here but it isn't working it calculates all of the walls instead of that let's delete this once more we will select our line and from relation to zone we have zone boundary wow now we are going to create the zone again and there we go we have our living room and we have our kitchen now i'm going to change the label of this zone kitchen and living room there we go now we can get rid of this line and use like so I'm gonna place contour lines. In order to show you more about the information of the line, we have layer here. If we create a new line, the layer will be this 2D draftic general. You can change it from here. And the newly created line will be a drafting line. You can change it also. And of course, you can change the line type from solid and you can change it to dashed lines, hidden lines, arrows, sketch, so on so forth. Very cool. This was the basic information with the lines. Now we are going to edit them. It's very important. I want to copy these line settings. I'm gonna hit the alt and my newly created lines will be same with this line. I'm gonna place a line from left to right and from down to up. We have very cool editing tools. This trim, split, adjust, intersect, fill chamfer and resize. Actually I have shortcuts but I want to show you the long way. First we will select our lines and if we click this intersect they will be intersected and since it was intersected a corner appeared here and if we click this chamfer we can create a chamfer or field and we can change the radius for instance we can make this 50 centimeters or let's click chamfer let's make this 100 click ok and to here i'm going to create lots of lines and copy them with multiply and if we select those lines and click this adjust and if we click this face as you can see they will extend the line but you don't have to click a line 
if you click the adjust tool and in order to click a line you can create your own line for instance from here to here they will be act like this but remember only the nearest lines will be touch your reference line let's click the adjust and if i draw a line to this position those corners will be attach my line and if i click this edge those points will be attach this line and also we have this split tool let's click it and i want to split those lines via this edge and i'm going to click this edge and i'm going to click the direction which edge is going to be selected once i've done that i can hit delete let's make it once more click the split and this time i'm not going to click an edge i'm gonna draw my own edge maybe like this By the way, we have this trim. If you click it, you can click the edge between reference edges like this and the edge you click will be removed. Instead of clicking this trim always, you have a very near shortcut which is control. Control key from your keyboard will be automatically use the trim and you can trim your lines very easily. Now I'm going to make a very interesting thing. I'm going to place an object. For instance, an armchair. Or from the visualization, site improvements, sports, basketball court. We have two sample objects. As you can see here, they were made with lines. We are on the floor plan and we can only see their lines. This is not 3D. This is 2D lines. But we cannot click them. If we click it, we will select the object. If we click this, we will select the basketball court object. Instead of this, you can export them. To do it, you will select the object. You will go to the edit, go to reshape, and we will select this explode in the current view. If you want to keep your original elements after exploding, you can click this, but I won't. And this time we have only lines. We don't need inside fields, we can just get rid of them. Let's click the marquee, make a rectangle, click alt, click ctrl plus a, hit delete. Those are lines. But this is not a simple line, this is polyline. What are the differences between the lines and polylines? I will show you. But first, let's explode this basketball court too. Reshape, explode. Let's delete all of the inside fields and we have our lines. If you want to stretch your lines, you can go to mark tool, make a stretch box, you can hit ctrl plus h and I want to extend this basketball court by 1 meter here and 1 meter to this direction. I'm gonna input here 100. Again I want to make a rectangular selection and hit ctrl plus h again from here to here. I'm gonna place 100 and I have stretched my lines. Also we can stretch those two. Let's go to mark but this time I'm going to make a polygonal selection with this one. 
this close the shape hit control plus H and stretch very cool by the way you can offset your lines too let's offset the topmost lines of the basketball court let's click this and click the edge click offset and offset 25 centimeters but instead of that if we offset once more while offsetting this if we click control we will see this plus and i'm gonna input 25 and enter as you can see here our original lines wasn't deleted and we created a new offset line let's do it once more let's click the edge click offset and this time i'm gonna hit control hold the control key and hit the alt now we have double plus and let's input 25 again hit enter 25 hit enter 25 50 hit oops 50 hit enter 75 hit enter as you can see here with this method we can create lots of offset lines with only one command actually we have lines and polylines what are the differences actually you can think them as autocad lines or autocad polylines actually this is a simple line if you place a node here you can separately select each edge and control differently but for the polylines you can't for instance this is a polyline if i place a node here and click this edge as you can see i cannot click this edge separately the whole polyline will be selected but we have an advantage for the polyline for instance again if i click this edge and if i click this offset edge and offset this edge to here as you can see here a newly polyline edge will be created between the baseline and extruded line you can do once more of course for instance you can use polylines like this and of course you can offset again control plus alt tick 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 and we have this you can trim them with control you can split them and you can adjust them luckily you can turn them between each other you can turn this polyline to a simple line or you can turn this a simple line to a polyline to achieve it first you will select your polylines go to edit once more reshape this time we are going to use line work consolidation as you can see this is a very advanced tool you can convert polylines into lines delete duplicates merge connected lines merge overlapping lines such as overkill command in the autocad we have four solid lines we have adjust overlapping lines let's click the merge settings after merging them you can change the finished layer pen type and category we don't have to adjust them for now and let's click ok now as you can see here this is a simple line and we can select them separately and control each other for instance i'm gonna create a line like this and i'm going to duplicate this lots of times on top of each other and we have lots of lines here and with that tool i'm going to merge them together click ok now as you can see here architect changed and turned all of the separate lines into a one line actually this was one of my favorite tools in architect 
those were simple lines. But also we have circles arcs, point lines and zip lines. Actually point lines, arcs and lines are the same, but the spline is a very little different. Let's click the spline tool. Let's create a random spline like this one. We can edit this. Let's click this spline and we have two additional options. First one is natural and the second one is a bit complicated. But instead of using this, we can simply click the nodes and we can create our natural splines. If we click this bezier, we can play around with the tangent angles of our spline lines. Well, this is a spline, but we can offset this too. But this operation will create something different and a weird thing. Let's do this. Click the edge and click offset. And we have limitations here. As you can see, I cannot offset more. And I'm gonna place here. But before that, I'm gonna hit control. I want to save my original. And... This is our original spline, but we have a soft curve here, but we have points here. We have lost our tangent points, bezier points. Instead of that, we have to fix them separately. Unfortunately, if we change something with our original spline, it's hard to achieve to catch the same angle and same shape with the original spline. In order to fix this by manually, you can just hit delete and offset once more with your newly created spline. Actually, splines are very important because you can use your splines with your beam tools. For instance, let's just use our main spline and Go to design, go to wall tool for instance. If we hit the space, there we have our wall with the same shape with our spline, which is very nice. We can edit this and create another wall. You can use your splines for this reason too. Yeah, I think that's it. These were what you can do with line tool in ArchiCAD. And I tried to show everything with the line. How you can edit them, how you can combine them, turn to each other, how to change their pen thickness, their shapes, the arrow heads, zone tool, the lines, using object lines, and a few more things. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.